good morning students hope all are well and doing good and let us continue our today's class so we are discussing chapter 4 organ and organ system in animals and let us continue today's session in the previous session we discussed about one of the seen vertebrate that is cockroach and its anatomy so as per that we discussed about the three systems one is digestive system the second one circulatory system and the third one respiratory system right and let us go on this rest of the system by today so today we are going to discuss about the nervous system and the sense organs of cockroach as well as the excretory system of cockroach let us see the first system its nervous system suppose you may know about this nervous system nervous system is controlling or coordinating the body functions right so in case of our nervous system we have the brain the brain is followed by spinal cord and this from the spinal cord the nerves arise and it is supplied throughout the body right and the nervous system of cockroach is also so simple it's almost like earthworm right so do you remember about this nervous system of earthworm it's almost similar fine let us see what are this organs are involved in this nervous system of cockroach right okay so the first one is supra esophageal ganglion right so the same part is located in the earthworm also we say there we said it is a supra you know pharyngeal ganglion what do you mean this ganglion is present above this esophagus right what do you mean esophagus esophagus is the part of this digestive system am i right so look at this picture which is displayed there one pouch like structure which is displayed outside this body right actually that is a digestive system the digestive system commences from the mouth and it leads as this esophagus it's a short tube it's a esophagus esophagus continues as a pouch like structure that is known as as a crop actually the crop is functions like a stomach but this region is actually not involving in the nervous function they mentioned here this region to locate this ganglion so the ganglion supra esophageal ganglion is located above the esophagus meanwhile sub esophageal ganglion is located below the esophagus okay to notice this ganglion only they have displayed this esophagus here is it clear okay now let us go on this regions there the first one is supra esophageal ganglion of course it is located this ganglion is located above this esophagus so this ganglion perform like a brain so the earthworm also the same we said fine okay so what is the role of this brain so brain actually it receives the sensory signals from the sense organs right and it perform like a endocrine secretion also endocrine secretion means we can say it is secreting the hormones okay so that is the role of this brain in the cockroach okay the second region is sub esophageal ganglion so that is present below this esophagus can you notice this one so first one supra esophageal ganglion is actually noted as a cerebral ganglia can you notice that since it is a brain it is noted as a cerebral ganglia okay and can you watch this sub esophageal ganglia that is located below the esophagus okay then let us see what is the special role of this sub esophageal ganglion so this sub esophageal ganglion is responsible for the movement of a mouth and the movement of the leg as well as the movement of this wings okay then so the next region is circum esophageal connectives so this supra esophageal ganglion as well as the sub esophageal ganglion both are connected by this one ring like structure ring like connection that is actually surrounding this esophagus right it is surrounding the esophagus and it is connecting like a ring it is connecting supra as well as sub esophageal ganglion hence it is mentioned as circumpharyngeal connectives 
Do you remember this almost the same structure we have learned in the earthworm also. Earthworm we said succumb pharyngeal connectives because it is connecting this uh, supra pharyngeal ganglion as well as the sub pharyngeal ganglion in earthworm. Is it clear? Okay. So this is the main region we said as this brain nerves. We can say this as the main regions. Understood? Okay. Then the next region is double ventral nerve cord. So what do you mean double? Of course no. Ventral side means ventral region. You know this bottom region we can say as a ventral region. Okay. So the double ventral nerve cord is arising from this subesophageal ganglia. Can you note it down there? The subesophageal ganglia. From the subesophageal ganglia, two nerve cord is leading. Can you watch? Okay. So that is actually leading till the seventh segment. Till the seventh segment of the abdominal region. In the abdominal region, till the seventh segment, this ventral nerve cord extends. Okay. Then, actually overall, nine ganglia is there. Nine ganglia is there other than the supra as well as the sub. Okay. So, among these, three ganglia is located in this thoracic region. Can you watch there? So, that is noted as a thoracic ganglia. Okay. Arrest six ganglia is located in this you know, abdominal region. That is noted as a abdominal ganglia. Right. So, from this in the ganglions, of course, the nerves will be supplied to the body. Is it clear? So, that is all about the, the nervous system of cockroach. Fine. Sense organs. So, of course, we know. So, the sense organs are the regions which is receiving the signals from the external environment and it will transfer the signal to the central nervous system. So, the brain's you know, response accordingly, right? That is the role of the sense organs, right? So, unless the sense organs send the stimulus or signal, this brain cannot function, right? So, the major role is done by this sense organs, right? And this is otherwise known as, as the receptor organs. Why it is receptor organs? Because it is receiving the sense from the external environment, right? Let us see what are the sense organs are available for this cockroach and wherever it is located, fine? So, especially six sense organs are available for cockroach and let us see one by one. So, the first one is stigmoreceptor, right? So, this receptor is especially for to receiving the touch sense, right? Okay. And wherever it is located, so this is located in the antenna. Of course, you may know about the antenna. It is a pair of antenna which is located in the head region, right? And the next region is a maxillary pulps. What do you mean maxillary pulps? The first figure which is displayed there. Already we have displayed in the previous session, it is the mouth parts of this cockroach, right? And can you note down this maxilla there in the third figure is a maxilla. So, this maxilla is a sense organ, right? So, that also responsible to receive the touch sense, right? Then, circe, anal circe, it is present for both male and female and this also responsible to receive this touch sense. The next one is this olfactory receptor. Of course, this also olfactory receptor is responsible to receive this and a sense of smell. Okay. So, this also located in the antenna. Fine. The third receptor is gustatory receptor. So, this is responsible to receive this taste sense. Okay. And of course, this is present in this mouth. So, especially pulps of this maxilla as we said in the third segment. That is pulps of maxilla, pair of maxilla will be there. And the next one is labium. It is located at the last one. It is a single segment, labium, last one, right? So, this is receiving the sense of taste, okay? And the fourth receptor is thermoreceptor. Uh, this is this responsible to receive the temperature or, you know, heat. Then, this is located in the first to four tarsal segment of leg. Right? So, this actually the leg of this cockroach we displayed in this last class. We explained. And can you watch this figure there? The first segment is coxa. Second one is this, you know, trochan, trochanter. And the third one is femur. 
the next one is tibia and the last one is tarsus okay in the tarsus also we said as a in the five digits will be there five thing uh, no you know projections will be there right so among that the first four tarsal segments okay the first four segment is receiving this you know sense of heat or temperature fine okay then the next one is regarding cord cordotonal receptor cordotonal receptor and receive, this is responsible to receive this vibrations so vibration in the air vibration in the land will be received by this cordotonal receptors okay so this is present in this anal cerci right anal cerci and the last one is photoreceptor this is responsible to receive this sense of light and this is present in the compound eyes of course we know the pair of compound eyes are located in this head region so that is receiving this you know light sense fine here one term is given like a mosaic vision so what do you mean mosaic vision so just now we said the photoreceptor is this compound eyes here the word is given like a compound eyes so why it is given as a compound eyes let us see so each eye i mean each compound eye is formed of about 2000 simple eyes called the matrix through which the cockroach can receive several images of an object this kind of vision is known as a mosaic vision with more sensitivity but less resolution understood so why it is known as a compound eye first of all because lot of around 2000 simple eyes are located together hence it is known as a compound eye so that simple eyes are known as a matrix okay so through this this a cockroach can receive the several images of an object several images lot of images it could receive through this you know eyes okay so this kind of this vision only known as as a mosaic vision but it is more sensitive but resolution will be this clarity will be less fine so that type of this vision is known as as mosaic vision it will be asked to see the three mark or two mark even uh, one mark question also will be asked fine So the next six system is a secretory system. Fine. So what do you mean excretion? The elimination of nitrogenous waste, which is found by this metabolic process, is known as a excretion, right? And this is performed by this group of organs. So that system is known as a secretory system. Fine. Now let us see what are these organs who are involved in this excretory process of this cockroach. right and first let us see this you know accessory excretory organs what do you mean accessory excretory organs this also its major role is different but this also do this process excretory process so those kind of this organs we can say as is accessory organs fine okay so um, among this the first one is a fat body so fat body in the sense in the bodies the excess in nutrients will be stored in the form of this fat so whenever the body is in the demand of this energy the fat will be converted as energy and it will be supplied the, the that energy will be utilized by the body right so that is the role of this fat body section but this here this also involving in this excretory process can it is eliminating this nitrogenous waste okay then the next one is nephrocytes so these nephrocytes are actually it is one of this connective tissue cells they said and these cells also involving in this excretory process fine then cuticle is outer covering of this cockroach so this cuticle also doing this excretory process it is eliminating this nitrogenous waste fine then the next one is uricose glands so this uricose gland is a major gland which is located in the male reproductive system of cockroach right so this gland also performing this excretory process fine and the next one is actually this important major excretory organ that is the small pigeon tubules fine and let us see where is this small pigeon tubule is located and regarding its process fine 
okay can you watch this figure have you remember this figure this we have displayed already so this is this you know figure for this digestive system action am i right of course the digestive system commences from this mouth and it ends with this you know anus so it consists of one long alimentary canal and since it is divided as a three divisions okay so the first one is foregut and the second one is midgut and it end with the hindgut okay so in that can you notice the junction between this midgut and the hindgut there is one minor tubular projection is there around 100 to 150 minor tubules as 6 to 9 bundles it is located that tubules are known as as malpighian tubules fine so this is the major excretory organ for cockroach this malpighian tubules fine okay and let us see how its function or and what are the things are present in this so this malpighian tubules actually it consist of glandular cells fine so these glandular cells is present in this malpighian tubules is receiving the hemolymph what do you mean hemolymph already we said it is you know the colorless fluid it perform like a blood right so this blood only consist of this water or you know the minerals or the salt along with this nitrogenous waste fine so this hemolymph in the body cavity the hemolymph is there the hemolymph will come towards this malpighian tubule so when it comes there it consists of this glandular cells so this glandular cells will observe this water and the salt and the nitrogenous waste from this hemolymph have we got okay then after collecting it it will send it into this tubules inside the tubules okay so these tubules again it will collect this water and this inorganic salt it will you know reabsorb this water and this inorganic salt okay then so again afterwards it is sent it to the next region after reabsorbing what do you mean the process reabsorbing actually you know in this you know uh, liquid actually the substances which is needed to the body also will be available okay so those substances will be especially inorganic salt and the water is needed to the body but it is present along with the nitrogenous phase so this water and the inorganic salt again it will be reabsorbed it is reabsorbed it is sent it to the body again okay so only the waste alone finally will be there in this in a tubule so that is sent to the next region ileum in the hindgut region first part is ileum am i right so there it will be sent okay and from the ileum it is sent to this in a column region then through the from the colon it is sent to this rectum region so in the rectum the digestive waste will be eliminated along with this this nitrogenous waste also will be eliminated okay so overall we can say this malpighian tubule is collecting this hemolymph right so from that it is you know reabsorbing this needed things to the body and sending back to the body okay uh, rest of this nitrogenous waste will be eliminated along with the digestive waste is it clear okay so especially this uh, cockroach is eliminating this nitrogenous waste in the form of this you know uric acid hence these animals are so known as as urio uricotelic animals actually the animals which is eliminating this nitrogenous waste in the form of uric acid are known as as uriotelic animals so this also will be asked as a question so uh, why this cockroaches are known as as uricotelic animal because it is eliminating this nitrogenous waste in the form of uric acid okay or they can ask as a one mark question which is this nitrogenous waste of this cockroach urea uric acid you know ammonia any option they can give so actually the nitrogenous waste is uric acid right so that is this, you know excretory system of cockroach fine and hope we can cover it up here and let us go on few assignments regarding today's portion here i asked uh, two uh, five mark questions the first question is explain the nervous system of cockroach with a diagram of course a complete neat diagram you can give and explain about this nervous system fine 
Then the second one, list out the sense organs of cockroach and its location. So, what are the six sense organs that we said? And what is its role? And wherever it is located. So, that also neatly you can tablet or list out. Fine? Okay. Then, the next question is, what is omatidia? Okay. So, omatidia in the sense, what do you mean? And uh, uh, the group of ice, the group of ice is present in this compound ice. Around 2000 so, you know, single eye is there. So, that is known as, as, as omatidia. The simple eye is known as, as omatidia. Right? Then, list out the excretory organs of cockroach. So, what are the excretory organs we said? Other than malpigent tubule, other excretory organ also we said like fat body, nephrocytes, right, cuticle, etc. Fine? Okay. Then, explain this excretory process. Excretory process of cockroach is a five mark question. Understood? Okay. So, please go on these questions and uh, please and uh, keep touch with the textbook and the classes also. And hope you will do it well. And let us meet in the next class with the next systems. Until that, please stay at home and uh, stay safe and please pray very well. Fine? Thank you.